That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? What's up, fellas and fellowettes? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. You should know that by now. I've been doing it for three. This this has been here for three years. I've been saying that same motto. Make sure to like, share, and hit the notification bell, especially if you are some newcomers, because I definitely want you to get these updates um, that I present to you um, maybe twice a week. I try to post maybe, maybe twice a week. Um, and for you long time subscribers, I want to thank you for staying with me, subscribing and all that good stuff. It means a lot to me. It keeps me motivated and what have you. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about why you should get your affairs in order before death. Again, why you, should you get your affairs in order before death? This is a very important topic because it hits home with me for the simple fact that I have gone through some situations. I think um, getting your affairs via economically or financially, whatever the case may be, um, creating your will um, so that everything will be straight whenever you do um, pass away. It won't be no situations about who this is for, who this for, who is that for. It, cre it, it really, it, it um, uh, resolves a lot of uncertainty within the family. Um, just basically from my experience, um, actually I've had a lot of individuals who have passed uh, in my family and have not gotten, uh, and they didn't uh, get their affairs in order and, we, and they create a great deal of chaos within the family after that because a lot of people perceive them as having uh, money and this and that and, and a third. And the main thing was that um, when they passed away, they left um, um, houses. And, and what really uh, kind of touched home with, with, with this situation was that it created a uh, sort of barrier between, the fa with, between family members. And I don't want to go too, too much in detail, but um, it just created a, a great deal of confusion and, and people weren't speaking to each other for the simple fact that um, the people who passed before us, you know, they didn't have uh, any type of will stated or some of the, the, uh, the, the legalities weren't worked out. It was the, the house may have been tied into certain situations and stuff in people's names. And not only, well, that was a major in, uh, incident, but there were other uh, situations where this has caused a barrier within the family and that made me um, get to the point of before I pass I definitely want to get my situation in order I mean first of all you get you some insurance you know what I'm saying secondly if you have anything that you want to leave to anyone the best thing is create you some type of will stating how you want things to go because if not it can be you know it can be a situation which I had encountered and I speak to family members uh, on a daily basis simply for the fact that I am insurance in the insurance business and um, I try to uh, get individuals to get insurance if they don't have it because that's important you know you don't want anyone to to create any type of GoFundMe or anything of that nature and have your family try to raise money because you were out here doing what you were doing and not concerned about getting um, any type of insurance but the main thing I want to stress and getting your affairs in order is to go to a lawyer if you have anything, and any houses, any cars, any type of um, uh, finances, and you let you know you sit down with him and you let him or her, you know, uh, put together some type of will so that you can pass out to your kids if you have any stating how you want your um, finances to be uh, distributed or any type of property, and that would definitely cut down on a lot of. Uh, confusion because for some reason I don't know why uh, families that I've come in contact with 
uh, do not see to think that this is necessary, but it really is. I mean, you know, if you, if you, you know, of course you're not going to be here to know, but man, if you know, like I know, I think the best thing is to try to get your affairs in order, get you a lawyer, get you um, some sort of uh, uh, piece of paper stating how you want your finances to go because if somebody knows that you got money, you know how some people are. They will definitely be like vultures coming out the woodwork and, and it will create a great deal of chaos. So to save you from that headache that I had gone through, definitely do these particular things to get your affairs in order before you leave this uh, earth. Um, Actually, you can plan everything down to actually uh, your funeral, how you want it to go. And you, uh, and this is uh, credited to a great friend of mine. She has done this. She's gotten, a, she's picked out a dress, a coffin. I mean, everything. Of course, I didn't want to hear about it because that's my best friend, but picked out everything. She's even written her obituary and everything. So that's what I'm trying to do. And that's what I'm stressing to you to get your affairs in order before death. So thank you for subscribing to Third Eye Visions and tune in to more videos. Peace.